What's going on, everyone? Um, I'm going to do a quick pickup video. Um, I've been picking up stuff for the last week. These are just small little things I've been picked up. So this is a large collection i got to go through and deal with. So let me show you what I got. Now, these CDs, I didn't really pick them at a thrift store store. I got these for free. And then these are some of those uh, CDs I grabbed from that PlayStation 2 lot. These are just ones that um, I need to take pictures of for posting. And then everything else is brand new that you guys have not seen before. So let me go. So I ended up picking um, this lot of Goosebumps books on a 50% sale. Um, when was that? Was it Friday? Um, so I grabbed these for like 10 cents a piece. Um, so I got this Horland one through 10 lot. And then I grabbed this Let's Get Invisible. So I'm probably gonna sell this lot for maybe 30 to $40 or something like that. I believe that's how much they go for when I was looking. So I'll sell that for that much. I grabbed this PlayStation 1. Um, uh, this is one of the newer models. This is the uh, the CHPH 110. That's with the dual um, shocks. This one actually also came with a um, Sony extension or a Sony PlayStation 1 extension. I believe it's an extension. Yeah, extension cord. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a friend of ours gave us all these beer taps. This is what someone used to collect them. So there's um, quite a few in here. These are all free. So uh, looks like this one's the adhesive came off of the. I wonder if it's inside here. We got Michelob. I got Paps. Dark Olympia. Yeah, they did come off, so that's good. They came off in the bag. This is just some. Uh, uh, this is a Burgermeister. So I'll gotta glue that back on and then clean these up a little bit and then make them sellable. Probably sell them in maybe a lot. Or I can sell them um, individually. I don't know how much they go for, if they're any good. Um, but a stack of random CDs. Um, I didn't pick these up. These were just in a lot that I grabbed that I sold some stuff with. Um, but we got like Foo Fighters ever since. We got Avril Lavigne. We got two of those. Uh, Linkin Park, two of those. Red Hot Chili Peppers. So maybe I'll sell them in a lot. Three Days Grace. Um, maybe I'll sell them on a lot of just CDs. Or maybe I'll sell them individually. That's another thing I'm not exactly sure about. I've already... I, I didn't pay anything for them. So there's going to be an easy flip. Today, I picked up this box right here. Now this is not a legendary dragon deck. This is someone's personal deck they got about three different decks they've made for you go we got a bunch of sleeves which is good because i still need some for some other cards so let me show you what we got um so i paid it's like 20 bucks for all of it so this card there was a 10 as well that was pretty much empty um but let me just go through some of these cards with you maybe I think for 20 bucks individually these cards sell for about two dollars two to three dollars uh, on average um, plus shipping so I have over 20 cards in here so that seems like profit um, it's just going through and figuring out if there's any that are worth 
money or not. Let me get closer for you guys. Um, if you guys are into Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe you can let me know if there's anything in here that's worth anything. If not, I will be doing a lot of research and going through and just selling them individually. These are, it looks like three different uh, personal decks that this person was uh, using or playing with. Maybe, usually when you play um, competitions, you can't use different uh, sleeves. You have to use all the same sleeve. Um, well, there's the first deck. Come back in here. These are just three random cards that, or a couple random cards that I picked up um, at the Goodwill as well that wasn't in this. Uh, these cards I do not recognize. Um, these are newer Yu Gi Oh cards. Um, just because. I'm used to, used to some of the original Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which I have in my personal collection. I have quite a lot of them. Um, some fairly decent cards, too. Are they in the great shape? I was playing with them as a kid, so they're not in the best shape. But they're... I have a metric ton of them. Um, and I was thinking going through them... And seeing if I can pick out some of the gems and maybe make a little bit of money, but they're somewhat nostalgic to me, so I'll probably just keep them, um, probably sleeve them up, um, and then go from there. I, I, I enjoy trading cards and collecting and selling, but I just don't know enough of them, and they're a lot of time consuming, uh, process to go through them and see. If some of these are even worth it. I just believe that I can make a at least 20 bucks off of this um, minimum. I think I can sell some of these cards for a good 5-10 bucks. This is a it looks like a Dark Magician deck. Um, he has like two or three Dark Magicians in here. Um, and then he has Dark Magician and the Dragon. So this is like a Dragon slash Dark Magician um, deck with Dragon Magician. So, I mean, you can tell this is someone's personal. Uh, these were decks that someone built. I was building. Or did build or finished. So, I think that's pretty cool. Um, for 20 bucks, it's a lot of work. Um, Easy to take pictures, not too bad, but still a lot of work to go through and see if they're even worth money. I could sell this collection, probably, for some money. Um, people like to, to buy collections. They, they don't sit too long. Maybe like a month or two. Um, they'll sit in my inventory. But I usually sell them pretty fast. Can I sell this whole collection slash deck for... A decent amount probably I could probably make a decent amount off of them um, but maybe I'll try to extend it and make a little bit more uh, individual cards uh, let me show you the next thing I picked up we got this monopoly um, Empire set The problem is I have not taken this apart. I can see that these are all here. So all the tokens are here, which is good. Um, but I have to check to make sure that all, everything's here, which is gonna take me a while because personally checking board games, unless they're new, is kind of a pain. And it, they're just time consuming. Um, is this worth a decent amount of money? It is. For $7.99 I paid for, this thing sells for about $30 to $40, uh, give or take. Um, so if all the pieces are here, I can make a decent profit margin off of it. But it's just a lot of time I need to spend counting and making sure all the tokens and everything are here. Luckily, some people have done it already. But 
I have set myself up at this point twice. Now, this thing, this D&D board game, I bought for about 26 bucks. That's how much these sell for used in general, but it's fairly clean, it has all the manuals in it. It looks like everything was pretty much baggied up, which means, which is a good thing, because that means most of the cards and everything are going to be still in here. So this is another thing I have to go through and count, but this is where the potential decent money goes and comes from is the minifigs. Now, if all the minifigs are here and this set is complete, which, you know, potentially could be, I'm pretty happy with spending 25 bucks for this set. Just because the minifigs alone, this dragon alone, sells for uh, about the same price as the whole set in the game if you sell it individually. But I probably won't sell them individually. I'll probably just keep it as a bundle, um, personal bundle for myself for 25 bucks since they, that's pretty much how much they sell for. But someone put a list of exactly how many cards, how many everything. So I just got to go through it, make sure they're all here. If they are, perfect, great. Um, maybe I can sell it. Maybe I'll just keep it. Um, from time to time, I do play D&D. So some of these figures um, are really good, even though they're unpainted. Um, they're clean. It looks like someone took care of this game board, this board game. So that's a plus. I also haven't played this, so I have no clue how to play this. It should be nice to learn, I guess. But again, that's time consuming stuff that I have to do. It's not as quick as video games. These are a couple video games that I picked up. Um, and I'll show you the list of other CDs. I don't remember if I did that or not with you guys yet. But this is Pet Nursery 2. Uh, this is brand new sealed. So I've got this at 50% off, so a buck fifty for that. Um, Lego Star Wars Original Trilogy. I've been, again, selling these fairly fast. Um, this is for Xbox, so most Xbox people probably don't have, or most people don't have an Xbox. CD needs some help, but luckily I think I can do that, and I can test it. That has seen some water damage. Definitely can tell by the waves, but again, I paid a buck fifty for that. And then I picked up Devil May Cry, Dante's Awakening, Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening um, special edition at this point I think I sent this into Amazon when I first started doing Amazon and it didn't do anything just sat there and then they wanted me to return it don't know why but essentially I think this one's going to go into my collection and then uh, these are just some of the random CDs I got that are working now that I gotta sell. Sonic Unleashed, Jack and Dexter, Underground, Wally, Paintball, Madagascar. So these are the ones that I finished. Unfortunately, I have not gotten that SSX Tricky finished and being able to work, which sucks. It's close, it's about to, so I gotta clean it a couple times and hopefully I can get it to work. Um, Cause that's a decent profit right there. And then I picked up today this uh, Starling Battle for Atlas um, Star Fox collection. Um, and it's complete. I took it apart. The games, the games in there. The um, I'll show you. Uh, everything's in there. The two action figures, the A wing, the attachments, the controller portion, the video game, and then the manual, which hasn't even been opened. So the poster. So this is a complete set. I think I'm just gonna put this into my collection. It's kind of cool. Um, Plus, it's a, it sells for roughly around $15, so I pretty much paid retail for... Or not retail, but paid eBay prices for this. So That is everything I have so far that I have to go through list. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. Message me on Twitter, Facebook, um, pretty much anything.